Now we're currently using Access 2013, which uses a file extension for Access of .accdb. Now this actual file format for Access has been in use since 2007. So people on Access 2010, Access 2007, will be able to open the databases that you create and use in Access 2013. If, however, you have some people still on older versions of Access, or even some systems that need that older version of Access, then you'll need to be able to save your database in one of those older formats. In order to do that, we go to File, Save As. Here we have the choice of Save Database As or Save Object As. So are we saving an individual object with a different name, or are we actually saving the whole database? We're actually saving the whole database. Now, if all you want to do is take this database and create a copy of it to do something else with, then we do save as and choose the current database format. And you can see there in brackets .accdb. That would save it in the same format as we have it now, but with a different name so that we can do something different with it, perhaps do some testing or perhaps distribute it to someone else. If, however, we're looking at saving backwards, we can go back to Access 2002-2003 format, which has the extension .mdb. That way, you'll still be able to open the database, but so will people with Access 2002, Access 2003. You can even save it even further back than that to Access 2000 format. Now, although these two versions have the same extension, .mdb, they were slightly different versions of the same file extension, which obviously didn't help things at that time, that they didn't change the file extension, but you still couldn't open it. So if you need to go back to 2002, then go back to 2002 and you'll find as long as you choose the correct format here, anybody on Access 2002 will be able to open that format. Going all the way back to Access 2000 or Access 2002, 2003, both with the same file extension, .mdb, or we just want to save it with a different name but retain the current format. So let's take our example here of sample 2003 and save it as a database in the 2002, 2003 format. So I go to Save As. I choose where I want to save it. And you'll see I can give it a different name if I want, but if I don't, I just carry on, but it'll have a different file extension. Save, and then enable content. And this is then the database that opens all access objects, so I can still see everything. So you'll find that even though I'm in this older format, I can still open and do things, and the data's still there, and the queries still work, and the reports still work. There's really only the newer things in the navigation forms type thing that will not exist and will not work in those older versions. And you'll even see that even when you're opening that older format database with your Access 2013, if we go to the Create ribbon, we'll see the navigation option is grayed out. We don't have the ability to create those clever navigation forms and the application parts, the little templates that are available is grayed out because they're not available as well. So other than that, you can still build objects within this older format and then people with the older version of Access can actually open and use it. In your file system, you'll see this has got a slightly different icon to the ACCDB format, and it has a different file extension. So that's saving your database in one of the older formats. The same really applies if you open the database in an older format. If you then want to make use of the new tools in navigation and application parts, then you can upgrade it by going to File, Save As, and save it into the latest format by simply choosing access database.accdb, save as. In my case, I will only need to give it a new name because I've already got a sample 2013, so I'm going to call it sample 2013 new, save. It's been upgraded to access 2007 file format. So the access 2007, 2010, 2013 are the same file format. The new database cannot be shared with access users 2003 or earlier. Okay. Enable the content again, turn on all the access objects, and I see I can see everything. And more importantly for us, the application part section is available and the navigation part is available. So we do have that capability of backwards saving a database you've created or opening an older version of a database and saving it in the new format. Bearing in mind that once it's in the new format, it cannot then be opened by people using an old version of access.